It's Mike Sorg, and this is the Mayhem Minute for this Tuesday, February 24th. Ready to talk about a little bit of wrestling today. Of course, uh, the big news. I don't know. It's not the biggest of news, you know, uh, because we're at that point, you know. But the Hall of Fame uh, is starting to shape up for the most part here. Uh, announcements about every week. Um, this week, you know, we, well, we've had Rikishi, Macho Man is, of course, the headliner. We have uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to be in there this year in the Celebrity Ring, which is fine. And then, uh, of course, uh, the Bushwhackers are kind of the biggest one topic of conversation this week. Um, and I got to say, I'm a fan of the Bushwhackers a little bit. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, somebody that, there's a tag team that I grew up on, and they were characters, and they were always so interesting to me. Um, and, but then I hear these conversations, you know, the same thing happened with Rikishi. Like, did they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? And then everybody drops the Coco Beware argument, right? Um, I, I don't know where I heard this from, I, you know, from another podcast or from another writer or something, but that, that somebody that worked with WWE, there's like, no, actually, everybody should be in the Hall of Fame, you know. Um, and of course, there's recent arguments with the, uh, Vince Russo and Big Vito's uh, uh, wife, you know, about who isn't on the alumni page, for instance, right? Um, and and people really get upset. They, were just, they, you know, what did the Bushwhackers do? What the heck did Rikishi do? He came out and danced every week. Guys, this is sports entertainment. Did these guys come out there and sell? diabolical t-shirts and and entertain the fans it's not about that this guy walk around with a belt for most of his career right um and 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 not everybody's going to be a macho man no but not everybody's going to be given the time of a macho man either but they still deserve a ring you know and then the argument came into um well you know these guys did a lot that wasn't just with the wwe that wasn't just as the bushwhackers that was fairly significant um and I think that needs to be kind of addressed, you know? Does Sting get in the Hall of Fame, even though he never did anything in the WWE? Yes, of course he does. Even looking at Ric Flair, how much stuff did Ric Flair do? The Horseman got in the Hall of Fame, for instance. So we're not, not talking about WWE. So that, that argument is, is very, very moot. But uh, there's so many that just, you know, actually, and there's so many in there that have never set foot in the WWE. And we're tag teams, and maybe not even tag team champions. Um, but again... But then I also kind of look in the long run, guys, this is a fake Hall of Fame for a fake sport. Get over it. This is like uh, putting this is like putting Steve Jobs in the Apple Hall of Fame, okay? This is this is this is this is celebrating employees, not not baseball stars. And um, not to demean the Hall of Fame, but I think some people are taking a little bit too much stock in the Hall of Fame uh, when it comes to this. I mean, it's picked by WWE guys, a corporate thing. They had Drew Carey given a celebrity wing ring, mostly to promote his thing that was coming up. You know, uh, there. You know, it. it, it where where does that stand? You know, I think Pete Rose is completely deserved. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is another guy. And, and why do these guys deserve to be in the Hall of Fame as celebrities? Well, they deserve to be in there as celebrities because they brought attention to WWE. Wow, they didn't do anything significant in the ring. They weren't a Mr. T that was in WrestleMania 1 and 2 as a boxer. Um, but they helped the company. Look at anybody that goes in the Hall of Fame. How did they help the company? And I'm sorry, everybody down to the Brooklyn Brawler helped the company. And honestly, Brooklyn Brawler should be in there too. Very, well, jeez, I mean, how much stuff has he done in the background since? What do you think? Hall of Fame? Who should be in there? Who shouldn't be in there? Is the Hall of Fame bigger deal than I'm making it? Let me know on YouTube. Tweet us at Mayhem Show or me directly at Sorgatron. And, of course, join us here Tuesday nights uh, live for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Indie Mayhem Show with Joe Rosa of the International Wrestling Cartel. Uh, currently starting up the trainer down there at their wrestling school. And, uh, of course, all that stuff you can subscribe to all over the place. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com for all the links of places you can find all of the shows. Until next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.